Thank you, Tim. Following our client's request for a green energy project, our major emphasis were on low cost, longevity, while still maintaining Associated Students Green Love Initiative. Uh, other major concerns with our project were to streamline our project with two other major solar installations on campus, including the Aquaplex and Mission Bay Aquatic Center. This would assist in San Diego State University's maintenance and operations of running the project post-construction. Three major components of our solar energy system include the solar panels, mounting bracket, and power inverter. For solar panels, we chose to use Sharp Industries as our manufacturer because they produced a commercial 235 watt panel which maximized power output on our structure. Sharp also is a Buy American producer which allowed our project to economically qualify for the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act. Finally, Sharp Industries had one of the best 25 year power guaranteed warranties on the market. For our mounting brackets, two major requirements that had to be met were first, the mounting brackets had to connect to a steel six foot spaced girder system and second, mounting bracket components had to allow the panels to be tilted on our structure. Uniracks open tilt and flush solar mount system was selected based on that criteria. Their manufacturer guaranteed eight foot spacing on their rail lengths and standoffs that allowed um, a five degree tilt to be placed on the solar panels. Uh, for the inverter selection, uh, location and needs of our project were the main criteria used to select the SATCOM 100 kilowatt inverter. Layout of the panels on the structure as, as, are as follows. Um, the maximum 486 panels fit on the structure with landscape orientation and that reduced the spacing between panels and the spacing was determined by the winter solstice and San Diego's location on the globe. Um, with closing remarks and our business plan, here's Tim Johnson. Thank you, Jeff. In, in considering the outlook of this project long term, um, our team was concerned with San Diego State's triple bottom line. We wanted to make sure that our project uh, met San Diego State's economic, social, and environmental needs. Um, economically, we wanted the umbrella to be a financial investment in clean energy that the university would feel proud to invest in and would benefit them long term. Socially, we wanted the umbrella to be an icon of San Diego State's uh, continued and uh, ever-growing uh, in investments in solar panel installations and green energy and clean alternatives to uh, normal and, and standard uh, energy outputs. Lastly, we wanted the project to be environmentally sound. We did not want it to be disruptive in, in where it would go on campus and be an eyesore or damage the environment in any way. We wanted to make sure that the construction process would be clean, efficient, and uh, non-detrimental to San Diego State's environment. Economically, we designed the umbrella to provide uh, $1.35 million, $1 million dollars in clean energy over 25 years, conservatively. Um, it has the potential to go longer if needed. Uh, we, as mentioned, we anticipate 30 to 40 years is the actual output uh, life of this project. We also designed it so it would be capable of being expanded or replaced in the future. Uh, should this uh, program work out well, San Diego State would have the option to replace the panels on top and continue the installation at only the cost of the panels. And lastly, we wanted to encourage donations to support the Green Love program initiatives on campus and help fund existing programs that are outside the solar panel projects. Um, we also were very concerned with the social impact of the project. We spoke with students, faculty, uh, and staff to acquire input on how the umbrella would affect them. Uh, popular among the suggestions and, and most important for us were that it would provide services to existing uh, associated students programs such as Zimride and uh, electric cars and vehicles and uh, the ability to be dedicated to the donors who would, who would feel this something they'd like to invest in. Um, we also wanted it to be an icon so that it would fund ex projects in the future and, and not simply be erected and, and sit there for 25 years idly and have no further benefit to the university. Lastly, we wanted to minimize the construction impact of the project. Um, while the project was not uh, required to be LEED certified, we did take into consideration many of the LEED um, desired 
um, programs for construction, including uh, storm drain sandbagging, um, dust and noise screens, protective walkways for pedestrians, etc. Uh, we wanted this, the structure to be salvageable at the end of its life period, not just go to a landfill. Um, the structure is entirely salvageable, steel and all, and the salvage cost would uh, be mitigated by its recycling benefits. And lastly, we want it to be an aesthetically pleasing part of San Diego State's built environment, and something the university can be proud of for years to come. Uh, thank you for hearing our proposal, and we hope you accept it.